isang bastagumpay na pagpapalang muli sa inyo. Handa na ba kayo? Kunin na ang inyong mga gagamitin sa ating aralin. Ako ang gurong makakasama nyo, Maestro Olaso. Sama-sama tayo, matuto! Before we begin, let's go back to the previous lesson. Because of that, get ready for Matanong! Matanong number one. What is the quotient when 9 and 3 fourths divided by 5 eighths? 9 and 3 fourths divided by 5 eighths. Since the given dividend is a mixed number, let's convert first into improper fraction. In changing mixed number into improper fraction, multiply the denominator by the whole number and add to the numerator. Then, copy the denominator 9 and 3 fourths equals 39 fourths. We can divide now 39 fourths by 5 eighths. Let's follow the CCF. 39 fourths divided by 5 eighths. Step 1. Copy the dividend, 39 fourths. Step 2. Change the operation to multiplication. Step 3. Flip the divisor. The reciprocal of 5 eighths is 8 fifths. Now, multiply the numerators and the denominators or use cancellation method. 39 fourths times 8 fifths. Look for a pair of numerator and denominator that can be reduced. We have 4 and 8 with a GCF of 4. 4 divided by 4 becomes 1. 8 divided by 4 becomes 2. Then, multiply the numerators and the denominators. 39 times 2 equals 78. 1 times 5 equals 5. We have 78 fifths. Is it already in a lowest term? Not yet. We can still simplify by converting improper fraction to mixed number. Again, Dividing numerator by the denominator, the quotient will be the whole number. The remainder will be the numerator, and the divisor will be the denominator. 78 fifths equals 15 and 3 fifths. Therefore, the quotient when 9 and 3 fourths divided by 5 eighths is 15 and 3 fifths. Matanong number 2. What is the result when 12 and 1 half split into 4? The word split means divide. To get the result, 12 and 1 half divided by 4. First, change 12 and 1 half to improper fraction. In changing mixed number into improper fraction, multiply the denominator by the whole number and add to the numerator. 2 times 12 plus 1 equals 25. Copy the denominator. We have 25 halves. Also, since the divisor is a whole number, use 1 as the denominator. So we have 25 halves divided by 4 over 1. Again, let's apply CCF. Copy the dividend 25 halves. Change the operation to multiplication. Flip the divisor by getting its reciprocal. The reciprocal of 4 over 1 is 1 fourth. Now, let's follow the steps in multiplying. 25 halves times 1 fourth. Can we use the cancellation method? No, because there is no possible pair of numerator and denominator with GCF. So, Multiply the numerators and the denominators. 25 times 1 equals 25. 2 times 4 equals 8. We have 25 eighths. By simplifying the answer, convert it to mixed number. Divide the numerator by the denominator. The quotient will be the whole number. The remainder will be the numerator and the divisor will be the denominator. 
25 divided by 8 equals 3 remainder 1. Because of that, 25 eighths equals 3 and 1 eighth. Therefore, the result when 12 and 1 half split into 4 is 3 and 1 eighth. Now, let's start our new lesson. Get yourself learning module in Mathematics 6 for us to... Mathalakai! Welcome to our lesson for the day. We will talk about solving routine or non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operations of fractions and mixed fractions. To check if division is the operation involved in solving a problem, you need to know the following key terms. Quotient divided by cut average split into and now did you still remember the four main steps in solving math problems just remember this s t a r star s study the word problem carefully t think of a plan a act on the plan r Review and check your answer. Let us apply now the four main steps in solving word problem. Miss Ortega bought a loaf of bread for breakfast. It measures 20 inches long. How many slices can she make if each slice measures 1 and 1 fourth inches long? Step 1. S stands for study the word problem. These are the guide questions in studying or analyzing the problem. First, what is asked in the problem? Correct! The number of slices that can be cut from a loaf of bread. Second, what are the given facts or data needed to solve the problem? You got it! The loaf of bread is 20 inches long. Each slice measures 1 and 1 fourth inches long. Third, what is the keyword used in the problem? Wow, you are right! The keyword is slice. Step 2. T stands for think of a plan. In thinking of a plan, these two guide questions should be considered. First, what operation shall we use to solve the problem? Exactly! From the keyword slice means divide. Therefore, the operation is division. Second, what is the mathematical sentence? To solve the problem, divide the length of the loaf of bread by 1 and 1 fourth inches. We have 20 divided by 1 and 1 fourth equals n. Step 3. A stands for act on the plan. It means let us solve now the problem by showing our solution. 20 divided by 1 and 1 fourth equals n. Remember the steps in dividing fractions? First, convert the whole number into fraction by adding 1 as the denominator and the given mixed number into improper fraction by multiplying the denominator by the whole number and add the numerator. Copy the denominator. We have 20 over 1 divided by 5 fourths. Now, let's follow the CCF method. C stands for copy. Copy the dividend 20 over 1. Second, C stands for change. Change the operation to multiplication. F stands for flip. Flip the numerator and the denominator of the divisor for its reciprocal. The reciprocal of 5 fourths is 4 fifths. Follow the steps in multiplying fractions. 20 over 1 times 4 fifths. Using the cancellation method, what is the possible pair of numerator and denominator to be cancelled or reduced. Yes, we have 20 and 5 with a GCF of 5. 
20 divided by 5 becomes 4. 5 divided by 5 becomes 1. Then, multiply the reduced numerator by the other numerator. 4 times 4 equals 16. Also, multiply the denominator by the reduced denominator. 1 times 1 equals 1. Now, we have 16 over 1 or 16. It means 20 divided by 1 and 1 fourth is equal to 16. To answer the problem, there are 16 slices can be cut from the loaf of bread. And for the last step of solving problem, step 4. R stands for review and check your answer. To check our answer, let us multiply the number slices by the length of each slice. 16 times 1 and 1 fourth equals... Change 16 to fraction by adding 1 as the denominator. 16 over 1 and convert 1 and 1 fourth to improper fraction. 4 times 1 plus 1 equals 5. Copy the denominator 4. We have 5 fourths. 16 over 1 times 5 fourths equals... Using cancellation method, 16 and 4 can be reduced by dividing 16 and 4 by 4. 16 divided by 4 becomes 4. 4 divided by 4 becomes 1. Multiply the numerators and the denominators. 4 times 5 equals 20. 1 times 1 equals 1. So, we have the answer 20 over 1 or 20, which refer to 20 inches long of loaf bread. It means that answer is correct. Are you still doing well? Join with me and say, Mothray nga! Mang Ambo makes decorative candles to sell on All Souls Day. He has 15 and 1 half kilograms of wax. He bought 20 and 1 fourth kilograms more. If he uses 1 and 3 fifth kilogram for each candle, how many candles can he make? Let's study first the problem. What is asked? You are correct! The number of candles that Mang Ambo can make. What are the given facts? Mang Ambo has 15 and 1 half kilograms of wax. He bought 20 and 1 fourth kilograms more. He uses 1 and 3 fifths kilogram for each candle. This time, let's think of a plan. Based from the given facts, what are the operations shall we use to solve the problem? Exactly! The two operations are addition and division. To solve the problem, we need to add 15 and 1 half kilograms and 20 and 1 fourth kilograms of wax. Then, divide the sum by 1 and 3 fifths kilograms. Now, let's act on a plan. Let's solve. Let's add first the mixed fractions inside the parenthesis. 15 and 1 half plus 20 and 1 fourth. Remember the steps in adding mixed numbers. First, change fractions to similar fractions through getting the least common denominator or LCD of 2 and 4. Again, by using any method, the LCD of 2 and 4 is 4. Second, Divide the LCD by the given denominators and multiply by the given numerators. 4 divided by 2 times 1 equals 2. 4 divided by 4 times 1 equals 1. Since we are adding mixed number, add first whole numbers, 15 plus 20. Then, add the numerators, 2 plus 1 equals 3 and copy the common denominator 
4. We have 35 and 3 fourths. Is it already in lowest term? Yes! Now, divide the sum by the divisor 1 and 3 fifths. 35 and 3 fourths divided by 1 and 3 fifths equals... Again, follow the steps in dividing fractions. Since the given are mixed numbers, convert first into improper fractions. 35 and 3 fourths is equal to 143 fourths. 1 and 3 fifths is equal to 8 fifths. Let's follow now CCF method. C stands for copy the dividend. 143 fourths. C stands for change the operation to multiplication. F stands for flip the numerator and denominator of the divisor to get its reciprocal. 8 fifths becomes 5 eighths. We have 143 fourths times 5 eighths. Since we cannot apply the cancellation method, because there is no possible pair of numerator and denominator to be cancelled or reduced, we can now multiply the numerators and the denominators. 143 times 5 equals 715. 4 times 8 equals 32. We have 715 over 32. To simplify the answer, Convert it to mixed number by dividing the numerator by the denominator. 715 over 32 is equal to 22 and 11 over 32. But since the problem asked for the number of candles, Mang Ambo can make 22 candles. Finally, to review and check the answer, multiply 22 and 11 over 32 by 1 and 3 fifths change to improper fractions 22 and 11 over 32 is equal to 715 over 32 1 and 3 fifths is equal to 8 fifths 715 over 32 times 8 fifths equals using cancellation method 715 and 5 with a GCF of 5, 32 and 8 with a GCF of 8. Multiply the numerators and the denominators. We have 143 fourths, which is equal to 35 and 3 fourths, which is referring to the total kilograms of wax that Mang Ambo has. It means the answer is correct. I hope that you understand the steps in solving word problems and I expect that you will MATANDAAN! Again, what are the four main steps in solving word problems? Just remember this S T A R or STAR! And now for our final activity. It's Mathematics time! Taylor uses two and one half yards of cloth for a t shirt. If he has 20 yards of cloth, how many t shirts can he make? Number one, what is asked in the problem? Number 2. How many given facts shall be used to solve the problem? Number 3. What is the operation shall we use to solve the problem? Number 4. Which of the following is the correct mathematical sentence?
Number 5. What is the correct answer in the problem? All right, let us check your answer. A tailor uses two and one half yards of cloth for a t-shirt. If he has 20 yards of cloth, how many t-shirts can he make? Number one, what is asked in the problem? The correct answer is letter A, the number of t-shirts he can make. Number two, how many given facts shall we use to solve the problem? The correct answer is letter B, 2. Number 3. What is the operation shall we use to solve the problem? The correct answer is letter D, division. Number 4. Which of the following is the correct mathematical sentence? The correct answer is letter D. 20 divided by 2 and 1 half equals N. Number 5. What is the correct answer in the problem? Letter A. 8 t-shirts. You are getting better every day. Congratulations! <laughs> Natapos na naman ang ating aralin. Naway kayo'y may natutuhan sa ating mga tinalakay. Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Olaso na nagsasabing ugaliing manood at makinig upang maging matinik sa matematik.